of versicolor that is also called the pitariasis versicolor and the chinia nigra so basically we are going to discuss two most important superficial fungal infections so let's start first of all we will discuss the tinea versiculars and the pitariasis versicolor so most important fungi that actually cause the tinea versicolor will be the Melasesia species. Okay. So, Melasesia species cause the tinea versi colors. Versi means righty and colors mean colors. It means that there is a variation in the color of the skin in that case. Okay. But on the other hand, tinea nigra is actually caused by the most important fungus that is the cladosparium vernicae cladosparium vernicae okay and these both are superficial skin infection okay that is again the superficial skin infection okay in the tinea versicolor you will see the fungi will exist in two forms okay they can exist in the yeast form as well as in the hyphae form okay but in the tinea nigra you will see the hyphae along with you will see the budding cells okay that is the tinea nigra okay and the what lesion you will see in case of the tinea versicolor as the again you focus on the word versicolors means that you will see the variations in the color so in the lesions you will see the two types of lesions hypopigmented and the hyperpigmented okay these are the most important hypo pigmented and the hyper pigmented lesions you will see in this case light colors and the dark colors lesions you will see and that is mostly related to the cosmetics okay and in this case you can also see the itchings and the scaling at that side that is actually the chinia versicolor or you can say pitariasis versicolor but on the other hand if you look at the tinea nigra so in that case you will see the brownish is part you will see the brownish spot in that case means hyperpigmented okay so most important thing which you have to remember because in the hyphae in the substrate hyphae you will see the depositions of the melanin like pigment in these fungi okay you will see that so that's why the overall look will be dark that is the tinea nigra okay here is the basic difference that can be either hypopigmented and hyperpigmented in case of tinea versicolor but in that case you will see the brownish spot okay so condition that actually favorable to the malassezia species will be the hot and the humid conditions okay so in that case the conditions will be the hot and the humid okay but on the other hand in case of nigra you will see the conditions will be the injury because cladosporium verdicae is actually present in the soil when someone get injured then that fungus will enter in the body through the injury so condition will be the injury in that case okay if we look at the lab diagnosis then how 
you can diagnose that whether it is uh, tinea versicolor or the tinea nigra okay so you will see the microscopy you will go toward the microscopy to confirm the fungal infections and that you will require the koh preparations of the scraping you will take the scraping small parts of the hypopigmented and the hyperpigmented lichen and then you will check the fungal in that case in the koh preparations okay and on the other hand you will also see in the tinea nigra you will also go towards the microscopy microscopy or you can also go towards the culture okay again that will confirm the tinea nigra infections okay if we look at the treatment so in the tinea versicolor pitariasis versicolor so two types of treatment topical so in the topical treatment you will see the miconazole micatin and you can also go towards the oral because the recurrences of the tinea versicolor is most common so in that case you will you will take the oral treatment and that will be the fluconazole fluconazole or you can also go towards the itraconazole that is also the also called the sporanox okay that is the oral antifungal drugs but on the other hand tinea nigra so in that case you will see the kerato lytic agents okay you will apply the keratolytic agents topically and that is the salic salicylic acid in that case okay here are basically the different treatments of the tinea versicolor and the tinea nigra so this is all about the superficial fungal infection if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much